G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Little Aussie Collector here, and uh, today we have a new video for you. As you are aware, we're doing the Star Wars room currently, and uh, it's a work in progress, but we have one piece that I ordered over a year ago, and it's finally turned up, which is great news, uh, and this really kicks off the Star Wars room. We've got a studio scale version here of the uh, at -AT from uh, Empire Strikes Back. Now, there's a custom piece here that's got delivered uh, in full Hoth edition style. So let's dive in and have a look and uh, let us know what you think. So I'll do a little quick 360 here for you guys to kick off with. As you can see here, we've got the uh, ATAT just walking there through the snow. Stunning, stunning looking piece here. So we'll come back here where we've got some a little bit better light for you guys. But as always, I always kick off with a bit of a base and uh, work our way up. Now, this piece here, like I said in the intro, is uh, it's taken about 15 months to get here in total. But after unboxing it the other day and putting it into the display, uh, I was more than happy to wait that time because it's a sensational piece. So they do two versions of this one here. We've got, this is the Hoth edition. So they've put a full snow base in there. So we've got a really nice snow effect. A little bit hard to pick up on the camera here, but it does sort of uh, sparkle a little bit uh, in the light. You can see a few little sparkles in there, but in person it does sparkle a little bit more than what's coming through on the camera. We've even got a footprint here, you can see. Uh, and then we've got some rocks also, which um, haven't got it or haven't been covered in snow completely. Fantastic piece. So the base itself is exceptional, really, really highlights the piece here. The other version that I've seen, which has got an acrylic top, so a clear acrylic, which is actually the same top as this piece here. Uh, is awesome as well. So really good. So those um, customers that ordered that, they've ordered that to keep uh, in sort of in uniform there with their other pieces, and I totally understand that. So either version that you are getting or you want, uh, you're going to be more than happy. If you're going the snow sort of diorama look, you're going to be blown away. You go the acrylic, the clear acrylic, then uh, it really will fit in with the rest of your collection. So the piece, just to give you some dimensions, uh, a couple of people want to know the dimensions here. Uh, we're about 70 centimetres in width and approximately about 55 centimetres tall. Uh, and it's only about 30, 30 centimetres um, in length with it. So the width here really is, um, is the issue for displaying it, but the 70 centimetres is fine. I, I don't have an issue with that. In order... For it to have some real presence, it's got to be this big. So let's dive in and have a look at the uh, the feet of it. So we've got some real great um, tones here with greys and whites, but you can also see the snow effect. I'll just get a little zoom in here. There we go there. So you can see that the, we've got snow all through. Now these feet are actually embedded into the base already when you pull the base out and you just attach the legs. So if we just move up, you can still see some snow there all the way up towards the body. And we'll get you another look of another leg. Yeah, magnificent piece. If you're a Star Wars lover, you you know this is one of the best uh, vehicles around. So you can really get a really good glimpse of that snow effect. There's a nice little shot of the footprint there. And you can see that sparkling effect that I'm referring to. Really nice. So we'll move up in towards uh, sort of like the head and the body. And there we can see there. So he's sort of like in walking mode. 
uh, with that head tilted slightly to the left. Now it's not poseable, you can't move it around obviously, so it's not uh, fully poseable. You can see those blasters. We'll give you a front on shot shortly. But the level of detail that these guys go into is phenomenal. So underneath in the belly here, we can also see, uh, I wouldn't know what these are called actually, but they even go to that length and putting them underneath where you can't even see them, but you have to get down nice and low. I'm sure that there are other Star Wars um, fans and members that watch the channel that are far more knowledgeable about these vehicles than I am and stuff like that. So they'll be able to tell me what they are in the comments, but magnificent. Let's uh, give you another look around from the side here. And there we are with the blasters. Looking fantastic. And then the back. And this is actually good. This, uh, this side actually shows you in detail there of the uh, different shades that they're using here. I'll just blow this up a little bit. So you can see different, different grays and whites coming through. And again, the base. So a very welcome addition to the collection here. Now he's just going right here in this little spot that I've sort of made out for. You get a couple of nice um, little medic, uh, metal plaques with it. And I actually got a coin with this one, which is terrific. So he's gonna go here next to the snow speeder, which is also made by the same company. Uh, and uh, there's Luke, the uh, XM Luke. So he's gonna look magnificent just sitting in there. And we can see the Star Wars room is coming along. We've still got a few pieces that uh, we're waiting on. We're getting the uh, X-Wing in and we're getting the sand crawler. They're the two uh, pieces that are coming in later on this year. And again, those two pieces are made by the same company as have made the Atat and the uh, Snow Speeder. So love to know what you think in the comments here of what you think of this uh, studio scale Atat. Um, fantastic piece there. Here's a great shot there for it, I think. Really good. Yeah, let us know in the comments and uh, hit, a, hit that like and subscribe button. We're flying up towards that thousand members, guys, which is fantastic. So I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, throw a comment in and I always get back to you on them. But until the next video, guys, uh, stay safe and I'll see you soon.